Should you count your macros whilst dieting? If you are an advanced lifter, the answer is definitely track your macros. So, so if somebody's a beginner, I just advise you staying under the caloric goals that you've set. Protein's a nice little added bonus, but look, it's not gonna always happen. If you put pressure on yourself to nail your protein, nail your, your carbs, nail your fats, don't drink, exercise more, it's quite the overhaul and it can be quite overwhelming. So why I recommend that you just stick to a calorie goal, it's because it's simpler. And if it's simpler and easier to follow, you're less likely to get overwhelmed and throw it in the bin and quit. My job is to encourage you to stick at it no matter what. This simple format is designed to help you feel like you're getting traction, but also get you results at the same time. So, so what I would recommend is you, if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter, protein is always gonna be the number one. Now that is recommended at two to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Reason why that is because it's a substantial enough amount of protein to help you recover, grow, and get stronger with all the resistance training you're doing. What I would recommend you to do that if you're an intermediate or advanced, hit that protein target no matter what, and backfill all your calories based on what you decide to eat on the day. But just so you guys have a firm idea, that's kind of how you should do things because too much rigidity can make you feel stuck, can make you feel restricted, doesn't give you the freedom to live your life and achieve your goals at the same time. And that's what we want to encourage. We want you to achieve your goals and live your life at the same time, which is very, very doable if you play it smart. Hope this video helped. See you guys in the next one.